Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys again with the Dead and a Dead character. So we are currently level 72. I uh, just finished Katava. We did our Merciless Labyrinth. Um, so I can show you that right here. Now, this character is not really geared very well. Remember, I just finished progressing. I haven't even went to PoE trade to go buy like the rest of my gear. Um, I'm just gonna kind of hover over everything as I'm explaining it right now. The boots don't have any movement speed, so it's gonna feel kind of bad. And I do have a, tab a Tabula Rasa. I have used it for only one map because I literally did not need it for any reason while leveling. The damage was more than enough, but I'm playing around with some new support gems uh, so I can kind of see how it's gonna feel like in later maps. So, we have currently Elemental Focus, Detonate Dead, Chance to Ignite, Spell Cascade, Spell Echo, and Increase Critical Strikes. So just to confirm, because a lot of people ask, the reason why we're using Chance to Ignite and Detonate Dead, or sorry, Chance to Ignite and Alley Focus is because of the more fire damage. It has nothing to do with the Ignite. The more fire damage works for the explosion for the corpse and for your initial hit. Controlled Destruction does not. It's only spell damage. So, we're gonna go ahead and just jump on right in with this T1 beach map. Spoilers, it's a T1 map now, by the way. And just to go over everything else we have, remember, nothing is really set up optimally. This character just came out of, uh, of basically the Act 10, and I'm just jumping right in. Elemental Focus, Cremation, Control Destruction, on my Nick Does Lantern. Um, GMP would probably be way better than either of these. I've got Faster Casting, Spell Cascade, Desecrate, Arcane Surge, uh, Unearth that I don't use, Decoy Totem, Lightning Golem, uh, Body Swap, Volatile Dead, this is pretty much just Shield Charge, Faster Attacks, and then Temporal Chains, Blasphemy here. We're currently sitting at, uh, what's our crit chance? 38% crit chance, so that's with no power charges yet, we'll be getting them later through Assassin's Mark. Let's go ahead and start the map. That feel when you have an ignite on you in your room? Okay, we're good. So, I would highly recommend... I don't know what unique boots I'm going to use yet, or what boots in general. I like trying to find a unique pair of boots so I can just kind of go rush Labyrinth, which I can't believe I'm ever saying, but uh, basically go rush Cruel Labyrinth and get the Leech Enchant. I think that 0.4% Leech really goes a far way, or a long way, especially when trying to sustain your mind over matter, and just in general having a little bit of Leech. So, the cool thing about Detonate Dead is that, or well, the thing is about, sorry, uh, what is this, Desecrate, is Desecrate does have a bit of a cooldown, but as long as you do enough damage, you can kind of walk, like, you can, like, just move with the corpses, because when you kill a monster, it creates a corpse, and you can kind of just move with that, so the only time you really need to make a Desecrate is when there's literally no corpses nearby, like these, these will cascade into killing everything, okay, or maybe... DD is going to be retarded. Okay, there we go. One guy died. See that? Perfect. <laughs> that almost went really bad for a second. Okay. And here is the current single target. Oh, you know I uh, ran out of corpses? There you go. The DD does way more damage than my cremation. I might not actually even need my cremation. Uh, with DD doing so much now that I'm actually inevitable judgment. So that's pretty much the character. Um, character's not very tanky. You know, we just entered T1 maps. We have about 4.4k effective life. So goals of the character right now are going to be uh, picking up pretty much every single jewel socket. So we've got two point jewel socket, 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 and then I'll just fill out my life. 
Uh, in those jewels, we're probably going to get things like crit multi-life or crit multi-cast speed. Something probably with crit multi, maybe even crit chance. You have to be careful with spell damage though, because that does not affect the secondary part of the detonate dead explosion. It's only for the initial hit of it. But yeah, that's pretty much the character. So, so far it's feeling pretty well. Um, so I hope you guys maybe, yeah, I mean, fuck. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope this helps you guys a little bit with the progress video. And if you guys are curious, remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care and have a wonderful time, everybody.